Okay, good day guys. This is Chibuzo Agowa and you're welcome to Login for Tech channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to deactivate AMP from WordPress the right way so that you wouldn't come across 404 errors or any error on your Google Search Console and it will even affect your traffic and your ranking. So that's what I'll be showing you in this video. So I'm not actually going to tell you stories, I will be showing you practical or what's exactly going on in one of my WordPress sites, what I'm actually doing and you shall do today and achieve the same results. <coughs> no, actually I wouldn't go deep to tell you what AMP is all about because you already know what AMP is. Maybe you, you installed it in one of your sites and you want to remove it or you mistakenly removed it. If you've removed it and you're encountering errors, you can still watch this video and make the correction. But if you intend to remove it and you don't want to encounter any errors, then you should watch this video from the beginning to the end. So that's what I'll be showing you in this video. Like I said, practically from one of my blog, and this is the very blog of mine I'm talking about. I just did the step um, barely 72 hours ago, and I will show you what's actually happening and what will happen at the end. So, um, like I said from the beginning, my name is actually Chibuzo Agua. So, subscribe of this channel. You already know what to do. So, if you are a visitor to this channel, um, I will kindly indulge you to simply um, hit the subscribe button and also turn on the bell notification. Why? Because actually, the shout tutorials periodically and their tutorials that are actually helpful and they are all technology related because this is a technology channel so you can kindly do that and also let's get started so like i said um there are many reasons whereby people actually choose to either deactivate or disable amp from their wordpress site and one of them is actually because it results to little or no conversions in terms of sales and also in adsense earnings and that's the major reason why i'm turning mine off and you can actually do that for your own reasons so now let's get started if you will agree with me if you maybe mistakenly you've deactivated your AMP plugin without following the necessary procedures and uh, procedures you actually be encountering lots of errors on your um once you go through google search console and they'll be emailing you periodically errors errors AMP related errors so you can actually follow the steps i'll talk about to actually avoid those errors now what is the basic thing you need to know you have to ensure that your amp pages are totally de-indexed from google search that is the only reason and that's the only um that's the only time you'll be completely free from any error so let me show you how you can do that for for a start maybe you've been, um deactivated and uninstalled your amp plugin the first thing you need to do you will still have to install this very plugin um what's the name amp for wordpress yes as well. that's this very one with the red circle and uh um red sign within so this is the plugin i'm talking about not this um, official amp plugin but this very one which is amp for wordpress so you, first you need to do you have to reinstall amp for wordpress back to your wordpress site and once you've done that now let's go to the settings itself you have to go to amp just like i did and the settings so this is how it will look like and this is the page i've been earlier on when we started the video so now what you will actually do is that the first thing you go to general once you go to general you see some um, basic um, requirements initially all this were toggled on that is for post pages and home page but you need to toggle them off actually toggle them off because i don't want to see the amp pages on my end so you have to toggle this tree of this first for post second for pages and the second and the third for home page toggle the tree off so once you've done that you now navigate to the see seo section which is now where we are so at the seo sections there are things basic or one important thing you need to do which is um, putting the particular tag at the head section this is the tag i'm talking about and you have to place this tag in the head section of does this some um, box that indicates the head section you have to place that and what does, does the tag actually stand for it's actually telling google to know index or the index your pages it has no index and tag it simply means that google take off this page from take off this amp page from your index database so that's the first thing you need to do so now this tag i'll be placing this tag in the description of this video so you can easily go there and copy it out and paste it directly to the head section of 
in this your SEO segment, the air section, you have to paste that. When you paste it, you now click to save settings. You now have done that already. So I don't want to make a repeat. So I'm just showing the steps. Like I told you, this is ongoing. And for example, I will give you, I'll go to my search console in, in, in a little bit of time and show you that yes, it's actually working. So you have to place this tag. Like I said, I'll, in the description of this very video you're watching, I'll place this tag so they can easily go there, copy it and place it in your air section. And once you've done that, you click on save set and then next thing you have to do or the third thing actually you have to navigate to at the advanced settings segment and here's where bulk of the work needs to be done so now once in this section there are lots of things i toggled off okay yes like for example actually toggled off um, search results pgnmp actually toggled this off formally this was on but i have to toggle it off so you can do that also and let's scroll down let's scroll down now that same code <coughs> that tag <coughs> sorry that actually showed you or i will place in the description of this video you have to paste this tag in this enter html in head section this very portion actually works for pages or your posts while the former one which will place the tag is for the home page so just place this tag here so that it will work in both aspects so you place the same tag there's no need you can still copy and repaste that's the same tag there's no differences now you now scroll down you scroll down once you've done that now let me show you what initially what i did <laughs> for example if you're familiar with amp or if you've not, if you've not known this for long once you toggle on and um, tag base removing amp or category base removing amp like you see the two toggled on and you save it what will happen is that your amp pages that appears in its mobile will actually you know for uh, initially once you your your amp pages appear in mobile results and you click on it the user will have to see it in amp but once you toggle this on your amp pages in mobile will have to redirect the user to the mobile version of your web of your of your team itself now this is what i did initially thinking it will work for me and this is what and i got this error as you can see this one error because i just i want to actually um remove the emp totally i don't want to i want to stop it so i did it and i have this error which is one error and if you can see the error stays it clearly stated that um in emp um, imp component script tag is present but on use what does it simply say is reference amp URL, url is not an amp so that's the result we get but that's an error but totally i don't want to receive any error so this works for that aspect but if you still stick to this alone it means that you actually get lots of errors on your amp page and that's not what i want now because my mission is to actually um remove anything concerning amp from the google index and also make my sites to start functioning properly the way it was so you have to toggle this off still yet if you want to i mean you have to toggle them on sorry yes you can toggle them on if you want to but that is the function they work now you now scroll down to the very bottom which says delete data and install yes you have to toggle this on because this is very very important once you deactivate your AM, this very plugin that we are using right now to make sure that all our amp pages are totally de-indexed from google search so just stick this on it will be useful when eventually i'm done or i've achieved what i'm looking for in this process i have to now deactivate this plugin and all the data what this happens is that once this is toggled on every data related to this plugin will be removed from your wordpress database so you can see how important it is let me see <clears throat> so those are the basic things you need to do in the advanced settings so you can see just note the first one you have to like disable and um, search page in amp you have to disable this that is by toggling off so so yes those are the basic things so those are the three things you will do now let me show you um the results of what i did just barely 70, 72 hours ago yes barely 72 hours now this is real let me go back to my google search console pages initially i have up to 283 
indexed pages on google as you can see they are now 166 look at the chart below you see that they keep on reducing they keep on reducing just within three days as you can see it keeps on reducing it keeps on reducing formally yes you can see this uh, the, the, the okay is so actually 255 and it keeps on reducing it keeps on reducing i want this to totally reduce to zero before i will actually go back and deactivate this plugin and delete it from my wordpress so you can see that once you've achieved this and you've ensured that all this is totally zero that is all your amp pages have been fully de-indexed and my amp section of my google search console for it to be clear enough once you show that they have been totally de-indexed from google then you can go ahead and deactivate the plugin from your WordPress site and you stop receiving those errors. So if you've made the mistake initially of um, just deleting, just deleting the plugin and deactivating it totally from your WordPress site and you've seen these errors, just like I said from the beginning, the first thing you need to do, you need to go back, you need to go back and install this very plugin, which is AMP for WordPress. That's the first thing. And the second thing, you go to your SEO section and do what I said earlier on, then go to advanced settings and carry out all this procedure that I said. So once these have been totally de-indexed, then you now go ahead and deactivate this plugin. You can see how easy it is. So it, like I said, it's a process that is ongoing in this very site of mine. So it's not something I'm framing up. So once it gets to zero, I might show a YouTube shorts to say yes the process has completed so if you find this video interesting enough i can say you can gladly give it a thumbs up and if you are confused in any section you can still go to the comment section of this video and drop your question and if you're still yet to hit the subscribe button you can kindly do that now hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so that i get notified when i release my next video why because the this tutorial is a tutorial based channel just like i said from the beginning and it's technology related so once you've done that automatically you're part of the family so if you find this video interesting anticipate it for the next one because they are quite similar so with that i believe we'll come to the end of this video and like i said from the beginning she was our goal is my name and blogging tech is the name of this channel and don't forget to drop your comments if you're confused in any section so we'll see you in my next video bye bye for now